How to achieve blue tone HDR effect to win for photos in Photoshop. Welcome back to PhotoshopDesire.com YouTube channel. In this Photoshop color grading tutorial, we'll learn how to create blue tone high dynamic winter photographs in Adobe Camera Raw and also save the settings to use the same effect for other images as well. One of the most challenging things in winter is achieving correct exposure. White, snow-covered landscapes will influence and most likely dominate your camera meter's exposure reading. This may lead to disappointing results, when you discover that all your snow-covered winterscapes are underexposed and appear dull grey. For this tutorial, I used Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 on Windows. Let's get started. Open the image you want to edit in Photoshop and duplicate it. Convert layer to smart object. Now open image in camera raw filter. Now I'm going to adjust some basic adjustments to achieve the effect. This is a great tool for darkening blues, adding definition, eliminating layer and adding more saturation to colors. Switch between panels by clicking on the tabs. Select Detail Panel. The top half is where we do all of image sharpening, while the bottom half lets us reduce any luminance or color noise. And that's it. Our blue tone HDR photo effect is pretty much done. You can see my result. Now we can save these settings as a preset, and then apply the preset to other photos that need the same effect or similar corrections. Choose save settings from the camera raw settings menu. The saved settings preset is now available in the presets tab for any open photo. Click OK when you're done to close out of the camera raw filters dialog box. Photoshop goes ahead and applies your settings to the image. Now try to apply this preset to other photos.
Remember that the results may vary on different images. You can play around with temperature, vibrance and colors to get the personal photo effect. Our channel subscribers can download preset from my website for free, and with just one click you can add the effect to any photograph. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting tutorials. Post a comment, click thumbs up, like and share to get more videos. See you again in next video tutorial.